Hello, Leah's. I'm sorry for the delay. I've been working a lot on my other job, so I'm a little bit behind. This video might be shorter than my typical videos, but I will be doing my regular length videos um, on the 15th. I'll be back to my normal schedule, so just bear with me here. As always, you can get a private reading from me if you want. Just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com, and that email is right below in the description box below this video. Um, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below and please subscribe if it resonates. So let's get into it. What is, what's going on with you guys? Leo, what do you guys need to know right now? Listening and understanding, new perspective. It says true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. Fear of commitment. Choose a path. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. Manipulation, deception. Clubs, parties, social life, anger and miscommunication. Magic, power, intention, manifestation, reconciliation, and we have sex and seduction. Okay, a lot of my readings are love readings, but I'm getting that this is more about you. I'm getting that you're being called to do shadow work right now. I feel like... I feel like you, you're going through some kind of karmic cycle. Like you're about to end a karmic cycle is the energy that I'm getting. There's some kind of karmic cycle that's being wrapped up, but the choice is yours because it's like, I feel like some of you have a fear of commitment and you don't even realize that you have a fear of commitment. Like I almost feel like some of you, and I know you guys are not going to want to hear this. <laughs> I know these videos do not get very many likes, but I almost feel like maybe the people from your past were reflecting your own fears of commitment back at you. Does that make sense? It's almost like you felt like you were emotionally available, but maybe you weren't as emotionally available as you thought you were. And this is either for you or it isn't for you. You know, this is either your energy group or it's not. Um, so only take it if it resonates. But I'm getting here. It's almost like you have a choice. You can have this new perspective. You can listen and understand. You can take a step back. Um, or you can you know, continue, whatever the cycle is, I feel like it involves a fear of commitment, a fear of being vulnerable. And maybe it's something that you just weren't fully aware of. Like maybe you were, you know, drawing in these, maybe it's like you were going like subconsciously. I'm not saying that you would, I'm not telling you that you would consciously do this. I'm saying that maybe on some subconscious level, because, you know, 90% of communication is subconscious. It's body language. So maybe on some subconscious level, it's like you were drawing in these people that were emotionally unavailable, maybe out of insecurities, out of fear of being vulnerable, fear of, you know, it could be one extreme to the other, fear, fear of being smothered, fear of codependency, and then the other fear of, you know, there's also the fear of being alone. It's like maybe there's, maybe there was just some kind of fear that kept you drawing in these connections. Maybe you have some deep-rooted childhood wounds and traumas, and it's almost like these emotionally unavailable connections um, sort of confirm your fears and your biases. You know what I mean? Like if you have these deep-rooted negative beliefs that keep manifesting, it's like maybe you're, you're draw, you know, drawn to these emotionally unavailable relationships. So it's like you're being called to look at that. You're being called to end a cycle. I feel like this could also be just a person. It might not necessarily be a whole pattern. For a lot of you, it is a pattern. But for some, I feel like this is a person or a, a group of people that might have betrayed you. And you're being called to really look at this and to, to wrap this karmic cycle up. You know, there's something, there's some kind of power struggle here. Someone, either you manipulated and deceived someone and told a lie or someone told a lie about you. This could be out like, this could be like in your social group or like at clubs and parties, that kind of thing. Um, it seems like there was just some kind of anger and miscommunication here. You know, someone rec wants to reconcile, but it's like, 
I don't know how much you can trust it, though. I could almost see this, too, as, I mean, I think there's a couple different stories here, but I could also see this as, like, maybe you're trying to keep things in the shallow end, but there's something, you know, this person has deeper feelings. Um, what I'm getting, though, that this is, the energy I'm feeling here is just that this reading is about you, that this is about shadow work. I feel like there's a group of people or there's a specific person that really hurt you. There was some kind of, you know, this is some kind of social group or some kind of club or party or something like some, it could, I mean, this could have taken place at a club or party. It could just be like a group of friends, could be people were jealous of you and they tried to turn others against you. This could even be like a coven or something that want, was out to get you. Maybe you're a witch and this, this coven didn't trust you. This coven wanted to turn people against you. You know, there's a few different stories here. I'm getting once you wrap this karmic cycle up, though, you're going to see the truth about a situation. So I feel like, okay, so I feel like there's one specific person here and you can't either for, for you know, for negative or for positive, it's like you can't see the truth because of all this outside energy, you know, these um, rumors, gossip, power struggle, you know, your own fears, everything else. It's like for some, this could, okay, so you're going to get the truth about a person is what I'm feeling. But for some, this is, your, the truth is that this person is like right for you, that this person is your true love, but you, you got caught up in your own fears and other people were jealous of your relationship and they played on your fears. For others, I feel like maybe this person is actually toxic and you kind of know that, like you kind of felt the red flags and, you know, you're being called to really look at this and clear this energy up there's some kind of karmic cycle that you're being called to clear up you know take it as it resonates like i think that you're gonna know which group you're in whether this is someone that's right for you and it was just other people that got in the way or whether this is someone that's toxic themselves and maybe they spread rumors about you or they just wanted sex or something of that sort um it's like you know trust your intuition here but what i'm getting though overall is that you're going to have true love when you wrap this karmic cycle up. Now, either you're going to wrap this karmic cycle up and you're going to do the shadow work and you're going to see this person is your true love, like you're going to see them in a different light, or you're going to see them as they really are in, in a negative light. And then you're going to wrap this up and you're going to be manifesting someone else is kind of what I'm feeling here. But I'm getting that there's some kind of karmic cycle here that's just been holding you back. I'm getting something about like being ostracized. Like some of you might have been like shunned from the community. Like it might have been a group of people, like a group of women or a group of men that were jealous of you. This could have taken place at a club or like some kind of a social organization. It could be a coven, like I said. Could just be a group that like did not want to see you happy. Is basically the energy that I'm getting. And so I think that this caused a lot of damage. So I just think that you're being called to like really look at this and clear this energy up and end this cycle. And I'm just getting once you end this. For some, you need to do a cut and clear spell. Um, I'm feeling like you also need to do shadow work. Like maybe you didn't really acknowledge the betrayal because it hurt a lot. Like maybe you had like a couple best friends in this energy, in this group of people. Um... Or like just someone that you loved, like maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend cheated on you with a friend, you know, something of that sort. I just feel like it's like people that you trusted and you didn't see it coming. And I feel like some of you, it's like you kind of moved on from it, but I don't think you fully like, I don't think you fully knew how to process those emotions because I don't think you really fully saw the betrayal coming. You know, I feel like you weren't really like expecting it or like maybe they kind of gaslit you and made you feel like you were the problem. Like maybe you just wanted to dress cute and just live your best life and they took it as a threat. They got jealous of you because you're attractive. You know, they tried to drag you down. Maybe they spread rumors about you. But I'm getting that, you know, whatever this was, what I'm what I'm feeling from this is that you just didn't deal with that betrayal. You didn't deal with that pain. And I understand it's, it's not easy to, you know, it's not easy to because you don't want to sink into depression. You don't, you know what I mean? But I'm just getting that like you need to... I feel like you need to do the shadow work and acknowledge those feelings because I just feel like you just kind of like swept her under the rug and you're like, okay, well, screw her or screw him, whatever. Like, but you didn't like really sit with those emotions. You didn't acknowledge and process those emotions and process that betrayal and think about what could be done differently next time. 
you know, so I feel like there's still some kind of fear of, you know, commitment from whatever this was. And this could be childhood wounds as well. But there's some kind of fear of commitment from that. Could even be a combination of things from your past. But it's caused like a fear of abandonment, a fear of commitment, a fear of, you know, being left out in the cold, a fear of not being, I'm getting like a fear of being ignored, a fear of not being listened to, a fear of not being wanted, a fear of not being understood, a fear of not being loved properly as, as you truly are. You know, I think some of you are very like sweet and innocent and loving and like you really were just dressing cute, just living your best life. And these people got insecure and tried to drag you down because they noticed all the attention you were getting. You know, this could be like, like I said, this could be like a club or some kind of social organization where people just noticed that you, you were having fun, you were happy, you were, you know, trying to be happy or you were happy, you were trying to live your best life. And these people just got jealous. And I think that they gaslit you into thinking that it was, that there was something wrong with you. You know, they gaslit you into thinking that, you know, or you're, you're just too bubbly or you're too, too kind or too, too naive or too this or too that. It's like they kind of tried to drag you down out of jealousy. And it's really, it's not you. I don't, I really don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's them. I feel like it was their own insecurities. I feel like there might've been a couple people, particularly like a couple women or a couple men, I'm getting for men, I'm getting for, there like might be a man watching this and this could be people that you go to the gym with or people that like see you at the gym is what I'm hearing. Um, but what I'm feeling here is like, there was like a couple haters in particular that saw you and they're like, oh, who does she think she is? She, she thinks she's so cute. Look at her wearing that little skirt. She thinks she's so, she thinks she's all that. What is she so happy about? Why is she, what is she smiling about? Oh, she's trying to show off and you know they, like some of them thought you were like bragging and you weren't you were just like excited about I mean, you were like you were excited about something that happened and they just thought you were bragging could be male or female you know take it as it resonates but but the general energy you know remember with these energy groups that there's it's the same energy group but there's going to be different variations of the story it's all the same general energy but like you know for some of you this is the gym for others this is a club or another social group but the general energy is that there is there were multiple people that were jealous of you. And I feel like there's two main, for a lot of you, I'm getting that there was one or two main people that were jealous, like male or female. That I'm getting that they were like jealous of like how you did your hair or your makeup. Or like, if you're like a guy, I feel like they were jealous of like how you were like in shape, like how you like were working out or something. Like maybe you have muscles or you like, I don't know, like something about that. Something about like physical appearance, like you get, I feel like you get attention. Like I feel like people find you attractive. People find you funny and charming and um, you have this light about you. And I feel like these people like don't like that light about you, you know? I feel like these could also be like succubus spirits, honestly. I know that probably sounds nuts, but there's, you know, not every spirit on earth is human. In fact, I'd probably say only about like a third of spirits on earth are human, there's, there's honestly succubus souls. There's lower souls in human bodies here on earth. And that's, it could be one of those situations where it's like, you're from like the fairy realm or you're from the angelic realm. And these people, it's like their souls just don't like you because they're from the lower realms. I know that sounds weird, but honestly it, it happens. You know, succubus souls do not like fairy souls. Let me just tell you as weird as it sounds. I know, but it's true. And I'm just getting the sense like, yeah, there was some people that were jealous. I feel like the rumors might have started with two people. I feel like there was like maybe one girl that this could be like a best friend you had a falling out with or someone that just um, like they just didn't like you. It's just I get the energy of them looking you up and down and they might have gone to someone else who also didn't like you and they might have said, hey, like, let's like, you know, let's like, maybe they lied to them or something to spread a rumor. They wanted to ruin your reputation. They didn't like that. You were so full of life and light. And then you were so you, it's like, you were trying to be happy. Even if you were depressed, you were really trying to spread light. It's like you were in this phase of your life where you were creative, you were open, you were pursuing your hobbies and you wanted to bring this light into the world. And it's almost like they tried to sabotage that for you. It's like they, it's like they just got jealous of it. They didn't understand that energy. It's like you were kind of above them in a way. And, you know, it's them. It's it's their own jealousy. It's their own insecurities. I feel like they really gaslit you into thinking it was something you did wrong when all you did was trying to live your best life. 
Like you, your real friends, like if you tell them, Hey, like I got, you know, I'm, I'm dating someone new or I'm working out more. I just started a new hobby. I just got a job promotion. Your true friends will be happy for you. They'll be on board with you. If you tell someone something good happened to you and their energy is like, ooh, why do why do they deserve that? And I don't deserve that. You know, like like if, if you're if your int- intuition is telling you their energy is like they're not happy for you, like listen to that, you know? People are jealous and you don't need that energy in your life. You need people of high vibration around you that are gonna support you in your goals and they're not gonna see it as competition. You know what I mean? Like you weren't trying to compete with anyone, you were just trying to live your best life. And these toxic, jealous, insecure people tried to drag you down to their level. And I think that, you know, they got in your head eventually because, you you know, you're very, you were very vulnerable and open to them. So basically the energy I'm getting is that you do need to do shadow work on that. I feel like it is actually creating this fear of like, I feel like, you know, this, this fear of commitment, it's like a fear of putting yourself out there again, a fear of meeting new people, a fear of being judged, a fear of people lying about you again, a fear of people, you know, just not understanding you, not listening to you, not loving you, not wanting you, um, just a fear of, of similar energy, basically, you know, a fear of getting your heart broken again, a fear of being vulnerable and open and trying to live your best life. And then you have these people that just see it as a threat and try to drag you down. You know, I'm really getting that this is blocking you from love is kind of what I'm feeling here, that you need to do the shadow work. And I know it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. This probably hurt you. This probably ripped your heart out. You know, you might have had a best friend in this in this group that, you know, you trusted them and then come to find out they just saw you as a threat. They just, it's it's like they, they just saw you as competition, you know? It's like they, they sabotaged the friendship because they couldn't bear the fact that you were more attractive than them or that you had more going for you than they had going for themselves. You know what I mean? But but it's really time to do the shadow work. I feel like once you really sit with this and clear this energy up and like try to heal and move on from it, I feel like you I feel like you can start opening yourself up again. Like you need to there's just something that you you need to go back and look at this and figure this out. You might have some like epiphanies, like things that you didn't realize before. I feel like some of you really just some of you really just, you know, ended up being gaslit and you really ended, you know, you ended coming out of this with thinking that, you know, okay, I don't want to dress that cute again or, oh, I don't want to, you know, oh, there must be something wrong with me. There must, you know, something with like miscommunication. And it's, it's like, if you go back, I feel like you're going to realize, you know, it really, it wasn't you. It was really these people that were jealous. And I think that you, you need to do the shadow work partially so that you can, Use your intuition in the future so that you don't have to be afraid to meet new people and meet, you know, a new social group. You know, if you do the shadow work, I feel like you're, you're going to be able to take the lessons from that and you're going to understand what to watch out for in the future. But right now, it kind of seems like on some subconscious level, you're kind of just closing your heart to, to new experiences and new love, be, be it friendships and also romantic relationships. So... You know, I just, I'm getting that for this energy group, you're not quite as emotionally available as you think you are. It's like some of you are saying like, oh, I'm totally open to love coming in, but like, you're not really like putting yourself in a position to meet new people. You know what I mean? It's almost like you're like scared to meet new people. It's like, you're kind of just working and going home and going to the grocery store, but it's like, you're not really putting yourself in environments, you know, in, in where you can meet new people. I feel like this still on sub level, this still hurts you. You know, maybe these people were like family to you in the past. I'm not sure. But but please do the shadow work because this can be cleared up. You know, you, you can get to a point again where you can bring your light into the world. You know what I mean? Like you, you can get back to that point. You just need to be around the right people and you need to kind of learn that balance so that you protect yourself from the succubus types, you know, from the psychic vampires, from the jealous people. And, you know kind of just learn to find that balance so that you can bring your light back into the world again. So I hope this helps. Um, and please, you know, if this, if this resonates with you, please subscribe, uh, please like comment, share, maybe someone else needs to hear this message. I really appreciate you guys. Um, my email is below. If you want a private reading, my email is dragon at AOL.com. And that email is right below in the description box below this video. 
Um, any donations are appreciated too. My donation link is also below. So thank you guys so much for watching.